Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at Wiimod and Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, so let's launch Wiimod. I've got a viewer, Geralt. He's actually on my Discord server and he's been helping a lot of my other viewers to get Wiimod installed on the Steam Deck. So he's asked me to take a look at um, Baldur's Gate 3 because he couldn't get it to... He got Wiimod installed but he couldn't get it to recognize his game. So let's try it out. Okay, so let me check where my Baldur's Gate 3 game is. It's here. See here, Baldur's Gate 3, non-Steam game. So 36875. So let's make sure that I've mapped it to the correct location. So go to here, and then Home, Deck, and it's a hidden folder, so I need to type .steam, and then Steam, Steam apps, compact, oh, wrong one, compact data, and then what was the number again? Uh, here it is, 36875, 36875, okay, this one. Prefix, drive C, Baldur's Gate 3, bin, bg3.exe, okay, so that's the thing, okay, so, and then I press play, play, and then it says, this game oh sorry the game must be launched outside of Wiimod before pressing play so we need to launch the game first and then when we can move the character we go the alternate tab we go back to here and press play all right that's what you're supposed to do so let's let the game just run so if you don't know what Wiimod is Wiimod is a cheat and trainers for your um, games but it's a windows program it wasn't designed to be installed on steam os but for the past couple of weeks, we managed to get it installed on our Steam Deck and launch it with games. Uh, but it is a tough process. I have videos of that. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you want to install it, please um, take a look at those videos or join the Discord server. We've got very many professionals now that know how to install it. They could guide you through the process. But um, for the people that did install it, they realize that some games aren't supported like they can run Wiimod but when they launch the game it doesn't like it doesn't hook up so you can't use you can't toggle the cheats and Baldur's Gate is one of those games and thanks to Geralt like he asked because I don't really play Baldur's Gate 3 so I've never tried this game with Wiimod but now that I have did this thing I realized that maybe some games in the past we thought that aren't compatible maybe it's because we did it the wrong way so take a look at this this is the normal way we do it like we installed Wii mod and then we hook up to the game we find the location and then we just launch it right so now i can move the character i'm going to alternate tab and then i'm going to press play and see normally it would like recognize the game and but now it definitely here it says like we it does, can't recognize the game so you, you've got to launch it again so that's not good, right? So even if I try it again, it just doesn't recognize the game, even though the game is running. So it's not working, all right? So let me just quit the game. I figured a way to do it. We actually have to move the game inside the Wiimod folder. So let's stop this first. And I'm going to quit Wiimod. Okay. So let's take a look. So my Wiimod prefix folder is here, 25822, okay? I think I've got it open. No, I don't. Okay, so let's find it. Steam, dot Steam, Steam, uh, Steam apps, compact data, and then what was the number again? 25822, 25822, can't find it. Okay, 25822, okay, this one. So this is my Wiimod folder, all right? My prefix folder, okay? And then I'm gonna open also my Baldur's Gate one. So open a new tab. So my Baldur's Gate game is here, 36875. So 36875 here. So here's my Baldur's Gate. I'm gonna move my game folder to my Wiimod folder. So here, I'm just gonna drag it over and move it here, all right? And that's that's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. And then we open Wiimod.
open Wiimod. Okay, and then we have to change the game location because we moved it, right? I think it's because it's not in the same directory. It just couldn't recognize the game outside. All right, so I think some games are like that. So Baldur's Gate 3, go to play, and then I'm going to change the location. So add custom. So now it's actually in my computer, so C drive, and I can see Baldur's Gate 3 now. And then bin, yeah, so it's a lot easier this way too. All right, now I've mapped it to my C drive. We'll click play. Same thing, you need to launch it outside Wiimot, so just launch it. But this time, once I'm in game, I should be able to hook it with my Wiimod and I should be able to use toggle the cheats. So if you've installed Wiimod on your Steam Deck in the past and some games that you couldn't like hook up, maybe try this method and report back in the comments or on our Discord server. So, you know, so we know which games actually work. That'll be very helpful to the community. Okay, just wait for it to load. I think I might get, try to get into Baldur's Gate 3. Because I played Cyberpunk, I played like 5 hours of it. I really couldn't get into the story. Like, it's too futuristic. It's just, it, it's not like kicking in for me. And everyone's saying Baldur's Gate 3 is a really good game. I played like a little bit of it when it came out. And then uh, I, I didn't play. But yeah, now I might. Okay, so continue. So all we did was we changed the game folder into the Wiimod prefix folder. So I think that's how it recognizes the game. So we'll see now. Okay. Okay, so we're in game. Yeah, we can move. Alternate tab, I'm going to go out and I'm going to click play. All right, see, now it recognizes the game. It doesn't prompt me to doesn't prompt me to load outside the game. So just wait for it to say playing. You need to wait here. It's still loading. It's taking its time. Okay, now it's done. Playing. Can you see that? Now, okay, I can toggle, like, like I don't have a pro membership, but you can still to you press these toggle buttons and you can toggle. So I'm going to press control numpad one. Okay, I think I messed up. Control numpad one. You see here, I'm toggling the, okay. So let's toggle them all on. Numpad four, okay. Unlimited. EXP, okay, F1. All right, and then I think here, yeah, increase these. So, control alternate numpad. See that? I'm moving. Yeah, I'm like adding stuff. All right, so the, 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 is that enough? Can, okay, let's see it in action. So I should be able to like get unlimited oh, the multiplier. Okay, I think this is very important too. The experience multiplier. See that? I'm pressing F2 and my EXP multiplier is going up. So let's multiply it. I think that's the easiest way to see that my, uh, my cheats are working. Okay, I think that's enough. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and play the game for a bit. To see if it works because i'm not really familiar with this game so i don't really know what cheats i could use to demonstrate it I haven't played the game long enough all right i think when i'm when i go to a battle then you can see that i'll like get a lot of experience and i don't take any damage i think that's the best way to demonstrate that the mods work the cheats yeah, they're not mods the cheats. Alright, so I think we're going to have a battle here. So that's good. Okay. 
So yeah, let's fight. Do you see that? See my EXP? 99999 EXP? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I mean by the cheats are working. Okay. End turn. Let this guy go. Okay. Level up. Yeah, I think... I think... Is that a one-time thing? Do I need to do it every single time? I don't know, yeah. But yeah, I think the, the cheats work. So yeah, just toggle these things. Uh, you don't need a pro membership. You could buy the pro if you want, but you just uh, configure these uh, toggle keys. And if you don't have a keyboard, you probably set it to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can use the virtual keyboard like this. So you can open the virtual keyboard and you don't have the numpad one, right? So you probably have to change the toggle key to something else. Yeah, that's what I do if you don't want to pay. All right. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next one. Later.